Okay, so in this problem, we have a crank slider. We're given speed of the slider, dimensions of the mechanism, and we need to figure out what is the angular speed of the crank. So just looking at this, there's a shortcut. We know that since velocity of the slider is going straight down at VC, which is given here, equals negative four meters per second, velocity of B at this point is also going straight down. VB equals negative four meters per second. Because velocity is always going to be tangent to the path, so it's perpendicular to the radius. And then for angular velocity, we know that V equals R omega. So VB equals L1 omega one, VB over L1 equals omega 1, which equals 4 over 2 equals 2 radians per second. So that is the shortcut. So just to make sure that we understand the general plane of motion equations, We'll work it out with those and make sure that we get the same answer. And that is clockwise. So general planar motion, steps to solve. So step one is write the general planar motion formula for velocity of the slider. Two is match the i and j components. Three is solve. So with this general planar motion formula, we know velocity of c equals velocity of b plus velocity of b with respect to c with respect to b. Vc is only up and down, so that's j hat. And that equals vb, which is omega one cross with r b with respect to a, plus velocity of c with respect to b, which is omega two cross with r c with respect to b. So omega two, we'll say it's that, so then BC J hat equals I J K zero zero omega one. And then RB with respect to A, well, if we look at this, it goes L1 in the X direction. We'll put our coordinate frame on here. So this is Y, this is X. And so that distance is just going to be L1 in the x direction, which is 2, 0 in the j, 0 in the k, plus i, j, k, 0, 0, omega 2, which we don't know the angular velocity of that connecting rod, but we do know the linear velocity of the slider, so we can put that negative 4 in there. And then RC with respect to B, well, theta is 30 degrees. So L2 times cosine theta is going to be the X component, which is 1.5 square root 3, and then 1.5 in the J, and 0. So negative 4 J equals, we do this cross product, we would get nothing in the i, so minus j times negative 2 omega 1, and then plus here in the i we'll have negative 1.5 omega 2, and then minus 
the negative 1.5 square root 3 omega 2 in the j. So if we match the i, 0 equals negative 1.5 omega 2. So omega 2 equals 0 radians per second. At this instant, that rod has no angular velocity. And then in the j, negative 4 equals 2 omega 1 plus 1.5 square root 3 omega 2. But well, we know omega 2 is 0 because we just figured that out. So then we get negative 2 equals omega 1, but we know that it is going clockwise. So omega 1 equals 2 radians per second clockwise. So this answer matches our reality check.